Well, now from the driveway, past this old Chrysler pig to the garage to get to see what's in store for the next cold start, old start. A 1967 Cadillac. All right, there was a couple spark plugs out of this thing, so I hope the cylinders aren't all rusty and seized. I got my slave labor Ole, who always was a slave for me, putting those back in since he's not good for much else. This car is actually in good shape, but the cheap guy decided that fuel prices got too expensive, so he bought himself a brand new Pinto. And no, he bought the Chrysler after this. He bought one. the Chrysler. Oh, then he bought a Pinto after the Chrysler. What did he buy? Yeah. We bought a Pinto after a Chrysler. Actually, this car was my mom's first car back when, in 1970 or so. When she came to Canada from no, Ukraine? before that. My, my grandfather gave this car to my mom as a birthday present or a graduation present or something. She drove it and then they got married in and I was driven home from the hospital in this car. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's check out. It's actually in good shape. It's a convertible. Oh my god. That was definitely a ladies car. No wonder you kept this thing. Convertible 67 Cadillac. It's a bit dark in here. Says 42,031 miles on the speedometer. It's got an old Wonder Bar radio. Ooh, and climate control. Oh my god. It doesn't even smell bad. It smells fine. And the seats are good too. The seats are amazing. They're good shape. I think they'd be all rotten. I didn't smell any more. Well, let's read the license plate and see when the last time this thing was started and on the road. Uh, in the glove box, there's some receipts from last time we had a... Uh, it says 1978 on the sticker. You could write your name in the dust on this thing. The top looks in good shape, as he's kept it covered. It's a new top. Oh, it's a new top. The cover's a new top. <laughs> oh, it looks like he used his old top as the cover for the new top. No, yeah. The new top to cover he the did. Top. Look at that. <laughs> Too bad there's no room in here to get a good view of the side shot. She's pretty straight. No. The paint shitty though. The guy painted over all the stickers and everything. All the tires look fucked. Oh man, they are so flat and cracked. Fuck. And there's another flat and cracked. That's a bias ply too. This thing's still got the bias ply tires on it. You can't find those if you want them. You don't want to find them. <laughs> you don't want to find them. No, the guys like putting the bias flies on their... The ancient air cleaner. That looks like an old Rochester. Oh, the throttle seized on this thing. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it stays wherever you put it. We'll have to see. I think it's just down there if we pull this clip off. Let's just the filing the points now. It went through. You lost it? Camera sensitive. Okay. No, we have disconnected the fuel line feeding the Rochester four barrel carburetor. And we have made a pinched off nipple at the end. The output from the fuel pump and the fuel filter. The reason being, if, if this car starts, it's going to pump 30-year-old gas into the carburetor, which is going to be green and sticky, which will ruin the carburetor and not allow it to keep running. Then I'm going to hook this little hose onto that nipple and attach it to my fuel squeezy bottle for a fuel supply. Now we have turned the key just a bit and the motor's not seized. It cranked uh, slowly. So prime the carb. 
I put a bit of fuel down this tube I ran to the carb. I'm not sure what the motor size is. It's probably somewhere between 435 and 472 cubic inches. All right. Okay, we finally got some junk cleared out of the way. You can definitely tell this guy was Ukrainian. Or is that Russian? There's a Ukrainian sticker on the back window. Oh, let's see that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get in there and pump it. Hey, here we go for our big first test if our batteries are strong enough after trying to crank that piece of shit Chrysler. Well, get to the engine now. Go ahead, I know what I'm doing. Here we go. Hold on, hold on. Go. The cables are smoking. Who knows? You might have to wait for uh, my bring back good batteries home. Well, I'll go ahead. Something smoking, stop! I'm going to block the pull out of a charger. No, it's on start. Okay. Where was the smoke coming? Down there. Down there? Yeah. Oh, it could be a, a seized pulley. alternator ceased or pulley. something. That'll slow it down. Ceased pulley. Now the throttle's unstuck, so here we go. Well, get to the engine now. Go ahead, I know what I'm doing. Here we go. She's tight. Anyways, here, I'm just going to give it a quick crank. You watch, two guys watch all the pulleys to see what's seized on the motor. Alright, see if one of them's turning. Okay, here we go for a quick crank. Oh, alternator oh, seized! Oh, what water pump. And the alternator. Water pump and alternator. Yeah. Well, you might as well cut the belts. Yeah, there's new ones right around here. So we're cutting the belts then. And it'll crank fast. Yeah. Probably have to charge up again. Water pump and the air conditioner. The it's funny to see me standing around when we're doing an engine job, eh? Oh, yeah, that's what you always do. You just stand around and boss people around. It was your boss for long enough. Hey, give it a crank. Just see if that water pump will have to turn. All right, dude. Oh, well, you think you fucked up the timing, huh? All right, you ready for take three? The battery's almost dead on this one. Okay, take three. We've readjusted the points to reduce the timing. Set the timing back. Whoa! It wants, it wants! Kick! We need stronger batteries. It did kick. Uh, put it on boost, hold on. Give it another squirt of gas on both sides of the car. Go ahead. I smell exhaust. It wants to live. Okay, I gave her a good...
Okay, take four. Or three or whatever. Here we go again. Okay, three. Okay, four. 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 Ok